Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about magnesium and magnesium deficiency and what sort of symptoms to look for. Magnesium is involved in muscle contraction that includes skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, and smooth muscles. It goes inside the mitochondria part of the cell and it helps with production of energy there as well. So if you have any of the following symptoms, you may be magnesium deficient. So uh, chronic fatigue if you're tired all the time throughout the day anxiety type symptoms or insomnia at night any sort of uh, muscle fatigue muscle contractions or muscle twitches um, also any sort of cardiovascular disease like tachycardia which is um, when your heartbeat speeds up or hypertension so if you have um, two or more of these symptoms consider magnesium deficiency the best sources of magnesium are through green leafy vegetables or vegetables in general um, nuts and seeds and legumes so make sure that you consume high amounts of vegetables uh, lots of nuts and seeds for your snacks and uh, get your protein from legume sources to ensure that you are not magnesium deficient also most of the, the other minerals as as well so if you are supplementing because um, somehow you're not getting enough of it through your diet or your absorption is not um, optimal then these would be the magnesium oral sources of magnesium magnesium oxide is wonderful for when you have constipation and I forgot to mention that but constipation is also one of the other symptoms to look for magnesium oxide is wonderful for that magnesium citrate is highly bioavailable and um, very easily absorbed through your digestive tract so it is a great source of magnesium and it can be used for any of the symptoms that I just mentioned it's 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 great for cardiovascular uh, conditions, it's great for constipation, it's great for any of those uh, muscle fatigues or um, uh, twitching, contraction, and general fatigue. Magnesium malate, I specifically use that for people who have chronic fatigue or they have fibromyalgia type symptoms because malic acid, which is an amino acid, uh, along with magnesium, actually go inside of the mitochondria and they help with energy production, which seems to be an issue when it comes to those conditions. Um, the next magnesium is magnesium glycinate or magnesium glycinate. Uh, it, magnesium glycinate does not stay in the digestive tract for very long, so it never has those issues um, uh, that people tend to get with magnesium, which is more of a diarrheal type symptoms, so you will never have that, so you can't really take it for constipation purposes either. Uh, it does actually... Um, help with calming so if you have any sort of anxiety or insomnia that would be a good one to take but um, also wonderful for people who have fatigue throughout the day last but not least i wanted to mention magnesium orotate which has um, been researched extensively when it comes to cardiovascular disease so it is the best form to take for those type of symptoms it is harder to find so you may not be able to just go to your health food stores and find uh, magnesium orotate so if you do find it fantastic for cardiovascular disease if you don't find it magnesium citrate would be um, um, will work as well people always ask me how much magnesium is enough magnesium um, the general recommendation for magnesium is to take it to bowel tolerance which means uh, start with a lower dose and keep increasing your magnesium uh, day by day so if you do let's say 250 uh, milligrams of magnesium one day you want to increase it to 350 or um, even more you know double your caps and take 500 milligrams you keep increasing that until you develop diarrhea 
lo looser type stools and then uh, which indicates that that may be too much for you at that point and then you just cut it back um, until you don't have those diarrheal type symptoms but you're getting the maximum amount of magnesium that your body needs that's the general recommendation now different practitioners may um, uh, recommend it differently but uh, that's generally what I see magnesium uh, deficiency is very very common in the in the United States so make sure that you get enough of your vegetables enough of your legumes and your nuts to ensure that you are not magnesium deficient thank you so much for being here and uh, if you like my videos like and share them with your friends on social media I would like to be able to produce more of these videos and bring some of these informations um, to you thank you again